So here are the two barrels, two rain barrels I got. Uh, I guess the sometime around in in the fall to see if we can retain some heat in the greenhouse. And uh, and what uh, what I found on these guys is is obviously the the space I'm trying to heat. Uh, two of them is isn't going to do it. Um, they're just basic rain barrels. I got them I think uh, for about 15 bucks a piece, and uh, seems everywhere. In the United States, you can get these pretty cheaply. Um, they're food grade, so you know there was there was uh, some sort of a edible something kept in them, and I think this must have been some sort of syrup or you know, syrup for soda or something like that. So eventually, down the road, if you choose to use them for uh, rainwater recovery or some sort of multi-purpose, you know you can do that, as opposed to getting something that held a chemical that. Uh, eventually you, you wouldn't be able to clean out to do anything with. So anyway, got these two to try to keep some heat in here. Uh, this is one of the failures of the year uh, <laughs> in terms of keeping the greenhouse warm. They, I, I, if I could guesstimate, I would say they probably gave me a percentage of one degree difference in the greenhouse. But what I noticed was something interesting. I thought I'd share the amazing power of the sun in passive heating. If you spend time is uh, I've got my raspberry down there and I think they're Walmart two or three bucks something like that but the raspberry is actually quite happy in between the barrels but anyway I put my temperature sensor down here between the barrels and for the last three days uh, we basically had no Sun it's been pure uh, pure cloudy days and quite cold in the 40s each day, in the 20s each night, but that sensor right there between those two barrels, that trash can and that one barrel, it will not drop beneath 38 degrees. Uh, so I find it extremely interesting. Uh, the The rest of the greenhouse will get down to uh, basically the temperature outdoors in in the evening at the you know at the the worst part of the evening, but between these barrels, in and around these barrels. It is, uh, it's holding around 40 degrees. Uh, I, I watched the thermometer all night one night, and, and uh, the first night it stayed at 45. And it wasn't even a, a sunny day, so it's not like the black paint absorbed a lot of sun. It was just a cloudy day. So on a cloudy day with the clouds shading and the greenhouse you know, shading the sun, because I didn't come out here and knock the mist off, um, these barrels were somehow able to hold uh, just enough heat to keep that center around 45 degrees. So I, I, I would guess the barrels are probably, uh, you know, holding probably around 50 degrees or something like that, maybe a little less. And so, you know, within a few inches off the barrel, you know, that, that is keeping the temperature at a, at a steady, a steady, comfortable uh, degree rate. So anyway, I just, I found that extremely interesting, something I want to try to expand on and, uh, I think I saw a video not too long ago where someone planted uh, plants right around their barrels and, and the plants literally hugged the barrel because that's where the heat was and so the plant would uh, would just hold hold tight to the barrel in the winter. So uh, I might experiment with that, might throw some tomatoes down there around the barrels. But anyway, it was a failure as far as keeping the greenhouse warm. I think I need a lot more barrels, but it was a, it was a major success for... Uh, and, and just learning that, uh, yeah, you know, within a few inches of these barrels, it actually stays, it can stay climate, and you could probably get away with uh, going a winter and maybe planting plants in between those barrels that, uh, that require a little more heat. Now, what would be interesting to see is when I get a real sunny day here, how much heat they absorb. So one of the things I'll probably do is, uh, and trying to understand and learn all this stuff and maybe put a little bit of science to it, uh, from my perspective anyway, is I'll probably throw a temperature sensor down in the barrel and maybe throw one on the outside of the barrel and throw a few extra around the greenhouse to try to uh, understand, you know, exactly what the temperatures are, how hot they're getting, how well they're holding heat, things like that. But anyway, so I, I would uh, vote a plus if you want to throw some barrels in your hoop house to capture a little more heat and hold a little more heat in the night just make sure you get enough to uh, keep climate the, the space you're trying to heat 
I'm sure someone online who has some good calculations is probably as to what you need based on your climate. But um, I like it. Good idea. I think I'm going to grab some more barrels for next winter and see how it goes. Thanks, guys. Bye.